Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dutch and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to get that old buck stove in there going. And I'm going to get it up probably close to 2,000 degrees on the inside. Now that's not the outside temperature of the, of the wood stove, um, but the internal temperature will be blaring in there. Um, it, will, it will heat my house down quick and uh, if my wife was home she would be having me open the windows. But uh, she's not home right now and uh, I'm going to get a fire going. It's probably in the 20s right now. Actually it's a warmer day for us. Um, I know um, the East Coast has been getting slammed by a winter storm, and it's 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 uh, it's a bad one, guys. And uh, my prayers are out to everyone over the East Coast that is affected. And uh, this is this is something some of them might might want to get in the future if they don't have one as a wood stove. And uh, I'll show you guys uh, getting it going and getting it hot in there. I know you guys uh, a lot of you guys like watching um, the wood stove video, so I'm gonna post one for you today and hope you guys like it. Hey. Before you finish this video, hit that like button down there. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And click that little bell too so you get uh, notifications uh, when I put content out. Thanks, guys. Okay, as you can see here, this is all seasoned oak right through here. And uh, that's what I'll be using um, in today's video to show you guys getting this stove uh, roaring. It's right there. All This is last year's cut. And it's nice and seasoned. It's going to burn really, really hot. You can see this stuff right here, um, it's not near as seasoned as that, but it's not its not totally green uh, at all either. Um, this was cut last year um, in rounds, but uh, I, me and my brother split it here a few months ago, but that's what it is. What's up guys, I'm back in the house now. I done got the fire going. Um, it's gonna show you guys getting it up to like 2,000 degrees. There's really no need to get it that high, but uh, it's at 1,500 right now and I'll show you guys um, throw some more wood on there because that's the key um, to getting a hot fire is having some good um, seasoned um, hard wood like this like this right here I got some good uh, dried oak right here and I got some already in there obviously it's going pretty good it's hot right here um, but I wanted to make a video talking about the wood stove again I, I've had a lot of requests of showing the wood stove again since it is the middle of winter and people are interested in this stuff um, the one thing I wanted to, to share with you guys today, the number one tip for anyone who's um, a beginner a beginner at burning wood, don't know a whole lot about it, which there's not a lot to it really, but one thing you might not realize until it's kind of too late is that you need a humidifier in your house if you're burning wood stove because this will suck the, the wood, the, the hot wood um, heat will suck the humidity out of the air. It just it's really really dry heat it's a it's a great heat but you got to put moisture in the air or you guys will find out the hard way like i did the first um, month or so i burnt wood i had a humidifier but it wasn't working very well at all and uh, we'd wake up with our nose all dried out um, sometimes they even cause uh, nosebleeds because it's just so dry so that's the number one tip i'll give give you guys today as far as if you're new to burn wood you guys need to put a humidifier that's i'll zoom in on that it's just a tea kettle pot a cast iron um, I gotta fill that up a couple times a day, and uh, when I'm burning, when I'm burning hot like this, um, I don't always burn hot. I just want—I was just burning this hot to show you guys. It can get up there pretty freaking high, and uh, it, there's no danger in it. Um, it it's, this stove is made made for this. I got I got it all closed off for the night. Uh, about to go to bed. Thought I'd show it to you guys. Uh, Temperature-wise, it's pretty cool out. Or it's, it's pretty normal temperature as far as winter-wise. It's like in the 20s. Um, we were having minus degree weather last week and uh, in a low uh, five, four, three uh, degree temperature range. I know a lot of them people out on the East Coast are, are going through some some terrible weather right now and uh, that, I just feel bad for them because I know how bad, how bad it is here with the no snow or ice and just the cold weather, it's just terrible. Yeah, I'll zoom in on this for you guys. I'll show you putting some more wood in there and I'll get this thing cranked up. It's having right around 1500 degrees. I'll stick a couple more logs on there. See if we can get it closer to 2,000 for you guys, just to show you. And I'll show you my tea kettle. Here it is. I filled it up earlier. It hasn't hasn't really got going yet, but I keep I just keep it full. And I'll check it every few hours, and, and I'll just keep it filled up. But it's no big deal. If it runs out, just add some more. I'll show you just how hot this stove is. Look at that. There's my old eco fan. Really like that thing. One thing about this eco fan right here, um, 
I don't think it saves me any money. Some people say it does. I don't think it does. To me, it's more of a cool ornament piece to check out. I'd actually, I actually want to get another one to put on the other side just because I like looking at it. So it's really cool. And it just runs off the heat. I think that's pretty amazing. But I'll show you guys putting some uh, wood in here and then we'll see if we can get up a little bit higher. Okay, I don't know if you guys caught that or not, but I caught it as soon as I opened the door. I forgot to open the damper. Now, that does not happen very often, but it did right now. And it's funny I did it while I was on video. Um, I was too worried about opening it up for you guys, but you guys need to open up that damper or it will it will throw the uh, smoke back in your face. And it did it hit me with the puff of smoke right there. It was, actually wasn't too bad. Uh, it would have been a lot worse if that, was, if that wasn't so hot in there. Yeah, but open up that damper for sure. But since I got it closed up, uh, we'll sit here and let this catch for a minute, and I'll come back and show you guys. We'll see how hot it how hot it gets. Okay, guys, it's been about 15 to 20 minutes since I put that extra couple logs on there, and it is hot right here. So I'm gonna talk quick. Um, I got it up to right around oh 1850 1850 degrees. Um, that's really hot. I could get it up to 2000. I want to. I'm I'm ready to go to bed for the night. So I'm gonna leave it at that. You guys just take my word for it. It will get hot in here. I think the temperature that is most efficient is around 1100 degrees from what I've been reading um, and that that ignites the gases and whatnot in the it, it come from the, uh, the wood burning um, I'm not an expert on this by any means it's just things that I, I read and uh, but this this is a model 91 buck stove it actually has a catalytic converter in there and uh, the manual says at 600 degrees is when I can close my damper up and uh, that thing will kick on and uh, it works really well. Like I said before in some other videos, um, I saved a, I saved like half on our electric bill or more um, just by burning this uh, this wood uh, through the wood stove. Man, it's really hot right here. Uh, just by burning the wood in this wood stove, let me scoot away from it. But yeah, we saved a lot on the electric bill just from burning that. Um, like in another video I posted a while back, uh, uh, I finally figured out how to use that catalytic converter on there. Um, by closing that off at a certain temperature, then it knocks the gases in there in this uh, in this wood stove. And uh, I went from having, um, pr I could burn wood for like, I don't know, four to five hours, um, closed off, not really know what I'm doing with it, uh, compared to figuring this out, closing it off when I need to, and I could burn it for 10 hours. It won't stay hot like this for 10 hours, but I'll be able to come back after 10 hours of work and still have a bed of coals in there for me to restart my fire. And that's a big deal if you guys uh, um, ever had to start a fire every day, especially if you don't have dry kindling or stuff like that. Um, it's a really big deal where you can just come home, pile the coals together, throw some dry wood on there, and start that fire right back up. It's, it's a lifesaver. Um, it, it just, it's a time saver is what it is. not really a lifesaver, but it's a time saver. Um, you could be doing other things. But yeah, this stove is freaking awesome. It's rated for like 3,200 square feet. So when we build our other house, we're gonna be putting this into, it's gonna be, it's, it's, it's a fire, or it's, um, it's a wood stove insert, and uh, I, I got the legs for it. Them legs were like 200 bucks just for the legs, it's crazy. Uh, but it's well worth it, well worth it. Uh, so we'll, uh, our plan is to build a fireplace and put the insert in there, and uh, this will be uh, one of our main sources of heat on our new place too. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to throw um, a wood stove video up for you guys, talk a little bit about it, show you guys getting it, getting it real hot in here. And I want to talk to you guys about how important uh, putting a humidifier in here. Like I said before, the first year I just had a, a plug-in humidifier. It didn't work worth it. It didn't work, work at all, hardly at all. Our noses were drying out. So then I started putting a big pan on here and just fill it with water. And, it, and, that, and that's, when, uh, that's when I fixed the problem is when I started putting water up on the stove. Uh, another, another idea, if you guys don't want to put a bunch of uh, stuff on top of your stove you um, you could do stuff on your um, I got a, a electric um, uh, cooking stove I got an electric cooking stove in there and uh, you can actually boil water on that and it does the same thing if you don't want to mess with it over here but that I would I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend doing that what I, the setup I got right here that's all you guys need and that's pretty common most people do that 
Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys liked the little wood stove video. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking for some more videos on it, so I want to post this for you guys. If you do, hit that little like button if you would. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. It's the first video you're watching. Uh, please hit that like button, like I said. Uh, and uh, hit that little bell somewhere. It'll be over there. Um, it'll give you guys notifications whenever I post new content. Look at that. It is hot. I'm starting to sweat in here. It is hot. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.